If you're considering a more convenient coffee solution, you're likely looking into Nespresso machines. I'm Erin from TechGadgetsCanada.com and these machines use special coffee pods to create a variety of espresso-based drinks and some will also make regular coffee. But what is the difference between these two systems and which one is ultimately better? I went hands-on with both the original line and the virtual line to try them out side by side to see. I'll be comparing the Nespresso Virtuo Next by DeLonghi to the Nespresso DeLonghi Latissima One here in this video, but I've reviewed many more models as well. Head over to TechGadgetsCanada.com or surf the channel here to see more machine reviews. Both machines make espresso, but the Virtuo line is designed to also brew regular coffees in the same machine. Nespresso launched the Virtuo line in about 2014 as a way to lure more North American coffee drinkers, who I guess are less about espressos than they are about full-size coffees, and maybe the odd double-double. First, let's look at the difference in pods. The original pods on the left there are small and narrow and come in just one size since they're really just meant for espresso, while the virtual pods on the right are wide and round and may differ in height depending on what's inside. With an original pod, you can make espresso, double espresso, or add water for an Americano. Virtual pods have special barcodes on the pod that carry specific instructions for how each coffee is to be extracted. The virtual lineup offers drinks in five sizes, from a single espresso to a double, a five ounce Gran Luongo or Americano, a eight ounce mug coffee, and right up to a 14 ounce Alto coffee. Now you can make a bigger coffee with an original pod by adding more water, but it's obviously more diluted, something you don't get with the Virtuo machine. Now with that said, both the Nespresso original and Virtuo machines let you permanently alter the drink size to your tastes. Yes, even the Nespresso Virtual capsules with that special barcode can be easily reprogrammed to make the drink you want. I've got videos here on the channel that'll show you how to do that for both types of machines. Let's move on to another differentiator, milk or no milk. One of the key differences between these two setups is that none of the Virtuo models here come with built-in milk frothers, while the Nespresso Original does offer machines that'll handle the milk, much like the automatic Latissima machine right here. When it comes to choice and availability, the Nespresso Original line seems to have a bigger selection of capsules, and because the patent on the capsules has expired from what I've read about them, you can get them practically everywhere and even fill reusable capsules with your own coffee. Virtual capsules, by contrast, are only available from Nespresso because they need that proprietary barcode to be recognized by the Virtuo machine. Crema is a hot word in coffee circles. Both the original and virtual machines and their coffee pods give you a beautiful crema on top of the coffee and the espresso, which a lot of folks really love. Some say the Virtuo Nespresso capsules produce a thicker layer of crema, and I guess I could say that's true, but it does begin to dissipate almost immediately. You can almost see the little bubbles bursting, and I think that's because all that foam is mainly the product of all of the air in the spinning process. For me, I guess I'd rather have a better coffee than a taller coffee foam, so I'm not as wowed by that feature personally. Brewing pressure is another hot topic since that helps make a creamier drink. Despite the seeming higher end feel and more tech smarts, I guess you could say, of the Virtuo experience, the Virtuo machines use exactly the same amount of pressure to extract the coffee as the original line does. You can generally expect 19 bars of pressure from both sets of machines. When it comes to brew time, perhaps not surprising, but the original lineup tends to produce faster results. This is probably, though, because the original line drinks tend to be smaller. Let's talk temperature. Coffee should be hot, right? Not so fast. We tend to brew our coffee with boiling water since the temperature can help extract the flavors and the coffee oils a little easier, but very hot water can actually contribute to making coffee bitter. You're probably familiar with cold brew coffee, which essentially replaces heat with time, letting the ground coffee sit in cold water for up to 24 hours to extract those same flavors without the bitterness and that acrid taste. For that reason, the virtual line uses a slightly lower temperature when making coffee, and here all those rotations help to saturate the grounds faster and better, so I guess not as much heat is needed. 
Now, for some people, this is a problem. Coffee that comes out of the machine at any temperature other than volcanic may not be as enjoyable. I guess your temperature and taste preferences are probably very individual, so whether a slightly cooler or more flavorful and less bitter brew will be as enjoyable for you is definitely a matter of taste. For me, I found there were still some Virtuo coffee roasts that did taste bitter to me, and at the same time, I didn't really notice a huge difference in the temperature. So which to choose, the original or the slightly more advanced Virtuo line? In my opinion, you should buy an Espresso original machine if you want it mainly for espresso or espresso-based drinks. You'll pay less for the machine and the Nespresso capsules overall, and you'll have way more espresso pod choices. Buy a Nespresso Virtuo machine if you're more of a coffee drinker, a regular coffee drinker, and you also want the option of making espresso and that coffee from the same machine. With the barcoded capsule brewing system, the Virtuo line makes brewing any style and size of drink pretty much foolproof, but like I said, it is adjustable. For me though, since I mainly want it for espresso, I'm going to stick with my Nespresso original machine, but I think both of these systems do have their benefits. The choice is ultimately up to you. I would love though to hear which line you chose or are thinking of choosing and why, so please share your story in comments below. If you want to read up on what I've talked about here, this comparison or reference anything that's been in this video, head over to techgadgetscanada.com where I've got a full write-up posted. You can also post your questions there or as always here on the channel. Did this video help you? If so, please mash that like button and hit me with a sub as the kids say, that means subscribe. I'm Erin, thanks so much for watching this video. Until the next time, you can find me on either Twitter or Instagram, I'm at ErinLYYC. You can also always reach me through Facebook at facebook.com slash techgadgetscanada.